All right, well, it's getting on up in the morning and uh, had a really good day today though. Saw a lot of birds early, uh, had some goblin, uh, uh, saw a lot, saw several diff different groups of hens and jakes, had a couple gobblers across the field here. Uh, just couldn't quite close the deal, but it's a great day. Saw a lot of birds. Now, if you want to see a lot of birds at your place, one of the best things you can do is get rid of what eats the turkeys. But even more importantly, what eats the turkey eggs. Turkeys at least can fly, they can run, and they have eyes so good they'll see you change your mind. But the eggs can't get away. So you got to go after the egg eaters. That's right, those little bandits. I know, I know, they're all cute and cuddly and all that kind of stuff. But this ain't Disneyland. So stay with us, and I'm going to show you what we've been doing the last few years that has really, really improved our turkey population. It's cheap, easy, and pretty safe. All coming up next on Trinity Wild. Hey everybody, thanks for coming back. What I wanna show you today is one of the things that we've been using here on our property for the last several years to help our turkey population. There are a lot of different animals in the woods that are gonna to try to eat your turkeys. We're gonna focus on one particular nuisance to your turkey population today, and that's raccoons. And one of the best ways to deal with them is this, the Duke dog proof coon trap. Let me show you how it works. So here's what you have, the barrel, this is the trap spring mechanism here, and then chain. Make sure your trigger is sitting right in between the two arms. We're gonna put our set tool, see the little grooves there? We're gonna put our set tool right there on the axle. We're gonna bring it up just like that, and then that pushes in. Now then you collapse it, push it in, your trigger comes down, and now we're gonna set it. And as you get that pulled down, slide the tooth right up, remove the set tool, and you're loaded. That's your finish and set trap. If you see the little tooth here, okay, this is what makes it dog proof. So when a paw comes down in it straight, nothing's gonna happen, so watch. Think about that like it's a little paw, goes down in there and pushes, nothing's gonna happen because that arm has to come up inside to make it go off. So if you look at that stick, kind of think about that like it's a little raccoon paw. He reaches down underneath that trigger and pulls up. That's what makes it go off. Now, quick tip. Before you set the trap, that's when you're gonna wanna put your bait in there. Because what I want that raccoon to do is reach in and pull up. So that bait needs to be in the bottom. What do we use for bait? Marshmallows. So we get our marshmallows, we're gonna tear them into a few pieces here. And uh, remember, we wanna make sure we put the marshmallow or the bait, whatever bait you use, into the trap before you set it so it stays under that little arm, so it stays under the trigger. A couple pieces down in there. Then we're gonna grab our set tool. And remember, you don't have to have a set tool, but it does make it a lot easier. Collapse the trap, bring the arm over and down and you're gonna flip that trigger up onto that arm and the trap is set. And from there, uh, no need to be careful or anything because if it goes off, it's not gonna hurt you. Just shove it down into the ground. And then take you a few more marshmallows, split them up, and again, whatever, whatever bait you decide to use, put them around a little bit. And then I always like to add just a little hint of sweetness with little jelly just spread it around nothing again this is this doesn't have to be anything spectacular you just wipe it on there any little bit of sweetness uh any little bit of extra smell that you can put around is going to be helpful draw them in from there we're going to take our uh, trap wire we're going to set it now when i tie my trap off especially with uh, one of the dog-proof coon traps. I like to tie it to a, a loose log as opposed to tying it to a tree or tying it to a root or something uh, that's not gonna move. Uh, so you'll, you'll be able to see where I've, where I've got this tied is it's gonna be able to move a little bit. What that does is keep it from being so solid and give that thing something to push against and pull against and end up pulling out of the trap. So I like to give it so it has a little bit of give to it. Um, and that's a pretty heavy, it doesn't look like it, but that's a pretty heavy log. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna take that trap wire, we're gonna put that on our trap chain. 
wind that up and then just cover up your chain, cover up your wire. It doesn't have to be anything spectacular, but you do, if, if you look there, I, I do like to leave it kind of open. I've got this set kind of close to a feeder and then just open right there. So you got plenty of room for him to get to it. Not gonna have to work a whole lot to get over there. And uh, he's gonna be able to get in there and get to that bait. So if you're looking to pick up some of these Duke dog proof coon traps, Tractor Supply, most any place like that is gonna have them. I'll put a link in the description below. The cost on them is about 20 bucks. Uh, set tool is I believe $5. You don't ha again, you don't have to have the set tool, but if you're gonna be setting a lot of these, it's really, really handy and it makes it a lot easier. Hey, thanks for watching today. I wanna give you a heads up. We are gonna be giving away an Orca 58 cooler to a random person out of our first 1,000 subscribers. Look, I don't, you, you don't have to give me your email. You don't have to go and follow us in, on Instagram. You don't have to comment. You don't have to share. You don't have to do any of that stuff to be in the drawing. Just the first 1,000 people that have subscribed to the channel, I just wanna say thank you. Now, all that stuff is great. If you want to follow us on Instagram, give us a like if you're getting some, some good out of our content here. And go ahead and share this if you've got somebody who is trying to improve their turkey hunting habitat. And uh, hey, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out our channel. Don't cost nothing. And it's going to put you in that drawing in the first 1,000 subscribers. Hopefully, we'll get to that pretty soon. Hey, thanks for joining us today. As we always say, let's wrap everything up. Put away the computer. Shut off the phone. Let's get outside and get wild. Thank you all, and God bless you.